hey guys welcome to today's video on Ganeta art school's youtube channel welcome to our youtube channel as well in this channel we talk about um everything design basically teach you guys youtube by little different aspects of design so from fashion design to graphic design um textile design whatever design um or artistic skills that you think you might have we basically bring tutorials that kind of help you to develop that skill easier um we also have courses as well but let's focus on today's video where we're going to be talking about how to um create this particular um design here so you can see that this t-shirt has a pattern so we're going to apply whatever pattern that we have to our designs in adobe illustrator so basically the idea is that i want to create um i want to make t-shirts and i want to be able to um apply the pattern or i'll say the fabric that i have right onto my t-shirt designs for sending it to whoever is going to manufacture the t-shirt okay so we have our image here of our pattern this could be a this picture here is was pulled from google but if you have your fabric already you can also snap your fabric so just take a picture of your fabric uh, make sure that the lighting is even and um, take a picture of it you know bird's eye view and then bring it into illustrator so just drag the image from your file folder and then drag and drop into adobe illustrator as well right um so yeah that being said let's move on to the tutorial so the first thing i'm going to do is obviously draw my t-shirt so i just have this rough sketch of a t-shirt right here and i have my um fabric here so what i'm going to do is if i want the t-shirt to be this fabric all through i will drag the image under the t-shirt highlight both of them so i'm clicking and dragging i'm clicking with my selection tool which is v and then i'm going to click and drag and highlight both of them i'll right click on it and click make clipping mask but then you notice that the outline of the t-shirt is gone already so what we want to do now is um put the outline back so we'll just click the black color but on the outline right so make sure that the outline is what's selected here and then we we'll click the black color or even if you click the black color and it's not highlighted you can always click here to swap to swap it so uh, once we're done with that we're going to go to the stroke and then increase it a bit so that it goes back to where it was before and there we have it um so i want to show you guys another method so let's say for example the t-shirt i want the I want the um the pattern or the pattern fabric to be just at the hem of the t-shirt so what i'm going to do is take my pen tool i'm going to um draw this this is kind of like the basic way of doing it so i'm just going to like imitate what i have here and just draw that and then i'll come here and just give it a little curve okay and then once i'm done with that i see that i have another shape here so what i'm now going to do is um i need to reflect the shape because it's the same thing here so i'll just click on it i'll click on transform reflect and um, copy and i'll drag it there perfect so this particular t-shirt design is the same on left and right so what i did was i drew only half of it and i reflected it and joined it together so that's why i'm able to do what i just did now so what i'm going to do is click on this image and press down alt to make a copy i'm going to drag it to the area that i want you know the garment to show but notice that it's too big because by the time i clip it this is the only thing that will show and i want the pattern to actually show very well so i'm going to just reduce it i'll drag it while holding down shift just so that most of the pattern is being captured yes exactly so something like that and then i'll click on both of them now make sure you don't click on the t-shirt just that triangle uh, rectangle shape and hold down shift and then click the image and then right click and make clipping mask and obviously you have to put your stroke back so um sometimes you may not need to go to the swatch panel to um select the color there you know you can just go to your properties panel click the stroke and then just put the stroke back so two is what it was before so i'm just going to do the same thing on this side i'll click on the image just for um you know to repeat so i'm clicking this i'm dragging it here holding down alt so that i can make a copy then i will scale it down very well right and then i'll drag it there so that whatever the part of the pattern that i want to show is what will be there 
and then I, I hold down shift the image already selected so I hold down shift and then I click on the um, rectangle right click make clipping mask and then I go back to my stroke panel uh, my properties panel and increase the stroke back so that's basically um, the idea with using the idea with um, making sure that your fabric or the material that you have is in your drawings and in your illustrations before you send them out for manufacturing right so um what i did here i did it twice because i wanted you guys to be able to um get it um properly well but you can notice that the scaling is different so in order to avoid that instead of me reflecting it at the beginning i'll reflect the already um i'll say fabric size <laughs> but yeah the one that has the fabric already so i'll click on transform reflect copy and then i'll just drag it and till it snaps to that point so that's the end of this video guys those are two ways um those are that's basically the major way that you can do it the easiest way you can do it there's another method but stay tuned to learn more on fashion designing and graphic designing and any other design um you know that you would like to develop you can always you know find that on here subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next video don't forget to ask questions in the comment section below bye guys